Bend 2 is a four-point saddle. Four-point saddles are used when a square or rectangular object is encountered on a conduit run. A four-point saddle is just two offset bends that are combined to form one smooth transition over an object. Step one is determine the height and width of the object. Measure the height and width of the object or obstruction. Also, measure the distance from point D to the front edge of the object at point E. The object is three and a half inches high and 12 inches wide. The object is 28 inches from point D. Step two is determine the angles and perform the calculations. Four point saddles are made in the same way as offset bends, except that the two offsets are needed to complete the bend. Although you can use a variety of angles, be aware that 30 degree bends tend to work best. We will use 30 degree bends for the four point saddle. Calculate shrink using the offset formula chart or the offset bending guide sticker on the ideal bender handle. When 30 degree angles are used, shrink per inch is one quarter inch. The shrink would be three and a half inches times one quarter inch equals seven eighths inches. 30 degree offsets have a multiplier of two. The distance between the bends would be three and a half inches times two equals seven inches. Step three is mark the conduit. The conduit will have four marks. These marks start closest to point D. Because the object is 28 inches from point D, make the first mark at 28 inches plus seven eighths inches for shrink equals 28 and seven eighths inches. This mark represents where the first offset will finish. The second mark should be seven inches from the first mark. The third mark is determined by the width of the object, which is 12 inches. The third mark should be 12 inches from the first mark. The fourth mark should be the same as the distance between the first mark and the second mark, which is seven inches. Step four is make the first bend. When making the bends for a four-point saddle, make sure that the conduit bender foot press is facing away from the center of the four-point saddle. The first bend is made at the first mark. Place the arrow on the conduit bender on the mark and make a 30-degree bend. Make this first bend on the floor. You can look at the bender head to see if you are at 30 degrees. Otherwise, if you are using the correct bender, you can put a level on the handle. If the bender handle is straight up and down, you know that you have a 30 degree bend. Step five is make the second bend. The second bend is made by picking up the conduit and the bender and turning them upside down with the bender handle placed on the floor. Slide the conduit to the second mark and rotate the conduit 180 degrees. Look down the conduit and line up to ensure that you will not create a dog leg. Use the arrow on the conduit bender for this bend. Place the conduit under your arm and bend it to 30 degrees. You can check to make sure that both bends are bent to the same degree by putting a level on the offset. Check to see if you have a dog leg. If you have a dog leg, remove it. Step six is make the third bend. Remove the conduit from the bender. Turn the conduit around so that the first two bends are now pointing away from you. Put the conduit back into the bender and slide it to the third mark. Look down the conduit and line up to ensure that you will not create a dog leg. Apply pressure close to the conduit bender to ensure that the conduit is bent at the conduit bender and not further down the conduit. Using the arrow on the conduit bender, place the conduit under your arm and bend to 30 degrees. Step seven is make the fourth bend. Leave the conduit in the bender. Slide it to the fourth mark. Rotate the conduit 180 degrees and align the conduit with the other bends to ensure a straight bend. 
Look down the conduit and line up to ensure that you will not create a dog leg. Place the conduit under your arm and bend it to 30 degrees. Measure from point D to point H. It is 54 inches. Mark conduit at 54 inches. Cut in ream conduit. Place conduit on conduit board and put conduit coupling on.